Good evening. Welcome to This Week in Review. Tonight's stories include and more, so please stay tuned. You may think walking is just walking. At Participation, we know walking is more. You've been walking to the store, to work, taking a break, or just smelling the flowers. Now research confirms regular activities as simple as walking reduce your risk of a heart attack or stroke. You just feel great. Walking, the shortest distance between you and better health. Participation, the movement for active, healthy living. The annual Run for Light, hosted by the Guide Movement, was held on Monday night. If everybody's ready, we'll start the run now. There won't be any bikes allowed. And the head ups, make sure the kids stay on the road. There's going to be one vehicle ahead of us and one behind. If anybody gets tired, they can get in the vehicle that's behind and they'll bring you back here. Is that you like, Stick? And let's roll. You know what it is. The annual general meeting of the subscribers of Virgil Broadcasting System was held on Tuesday night at the community center. All the various events going on simultaneously at the Ballfield Community Center area has raised concerns with respects to parking in that area.
Friday, we got an aerial view of the soft shell clam harvesting being carried out at Big Barrisway. I'd like to remind you that our phone lines are still open. If you haven't made a pledge, there's still plenty of time to do so. Operators are standing by to take your calls. Stay tuned for more of This Week in Review coming up in just a moment. Welcome to Label Smart, our nutrition labeling quiz. With us today, two young mothers, Mrs. Dixon and Mrs. Phillips. True or false, the claim no sugar added means that the product does not contain any sugar? False. You go ahead. A product labeled no sugar added can still contain sugar that's naturally in the food or ingredients. Um, in these peaches canned in fruit juice, no sugar was added, but sugar is part of the fruit itself and the added fruit juice. Let's compare this product to canned peaches with sugar added. I see the no sugar added product has 12 grams of sugar and the regular one has 16, a small difference. Otherwise, the nutritional value is about the same. Adding sugars to nutritious foods can add to their enjoyment and in moderation. Sugar fits in with the Canada's Food Guide approach to healthy eating. Can we share these peaches? The Smart Eater is labeled Smart. A message from the National Institute of Nutrition. Teachers across Newfoundland voted on Thursday as to whether or not to accept a proposal from government. We visited A.J. Matthews School on Friday morning. We found students preparing their belongings to take home. One of the teachers in the primary section said the hardest part was explaining this situation to their students. We found Miss Rose Vatcher teaching her kindergarten class as normal, knowing that this could quite possibly be the last day that she would be teaching this class. Because I had an interview with the student placement worker to find out about student positions offered for this summer. Our guest today is Michelle Ball. She's been hired on through Canada Employment Outreach as a student placement worker for this summer. Welcome to our studio, Michelle. Thank you. How many of the 51 student positions approved for Burgio under Challenge 94 have been awarded? Five as of now. Okay, I've seen a number of these jobs advertised on our community channel. How many of these positions have not yet been posted? Uh, we're waiting to hear back from five employers, which equals to eight positions. Most of the positions advertised have to be applied for through your office. Uh, do you award these positions? No, I don't. Okay, uh, what process is followed in the awarding of these jobs? The students bring their resumes into me and I forward all resumes to the appropriate employer. Okay, so you don't screen any applications or anything like that? I just check and make sure that they, they qualify under Challenge 94. Okay, do you have any ideas to generate employment for students who are not successful under Challenge 94? Well, we're going to be do the usual odd uh, job squad again this year and the car wash, bingo, and any other other ideas the students may have to uh, raise money. Okay, so uh, I guess when the uh, jobs have been awarded, I guess you'll be meeting with these other students at that time. Yes, we will. Okay, do you have an approximate number of students that are involved in the job hunt this year? As of today, there is 66 students that have brought resumes into our office. Okay, have you had many students find employment outside of the Challenge 94 program? Two that we are aware of. Okay, uh, 
Can you briefly tell us what the criteria is for anyone who doesn't know? Okay. Um, you have to been going to school in the previous year and have intent to go to school in the fall. Okay. So you have to have a conditional acceptance or yes. at least have applied. Mm. Okay, Michelle, is there anything else you'd like to... To uh, remind students that if they plan to apply for any of these jobs that they should get the resume as soon as possible because deadlines are coming very close and there is few as already passed. So they need to get their resumes in right away. Okay, Michelle, thanks for speaking with us. Thank you. Our guest today is Michelle Ball. She's a student placement worker at the Canada Employment Outreach Office here in Burgill. And hopefully we'll be seeing more of her throughout the summer as the students do various tasks under the Odd Job Squad. The Lions Cavalcade for Diabetes is scheduled to go ahead on Saturday, June the 11th between Deer Lake and Corner Brook. This is the start of the day for many people around the world, people with a common illness known as diabetes. Diabetes is a disease that can affect anyone, any age, and at any time. Although there is no cure, diabetes can be controlled, either by insulin shots or pills and a proper diet and exercise. Representatives from the Burgio Lions Club will be traveling to Deer Lake on Saturday to participate in the Lions Cavalcade for Diabetes. If you haven't sponsored the Lions, you can do so at the town office or the BBS office. Or if you have sponsored them but haven't yet paid, please try to bring your money in sometime this week. Together, we can help find a cure. This week, as we look back and remember when, we're going to take a look at the first telethon held here at BBS. A continuation of our telethon here at the Virgil Broadcasting uh, Control Center, I suppose you can call it. And, uh, this telethon was held to, uh, before the construction of the BBS studio. And, uh, right now we've In got fact, this telethon was held to raise money needed to get local dollars. programming started. Look at that. Isn't that Your amazing? donations the made the Community Channel 10 become a reality. Uh, got here from this community and from... Uh, the relatives of the people living here from all across the country, down in the States, Central America, France, from all over. And everybody Tonight, let's see if we can pull together uh, once again right and help make an arena become a reality for our community. And, uh, Remember when, going to do 1986. Is, uh, we're going to... <laughs>
it for this week. We would like to remind you that the $500 bingo game will be going ahead at 9.30. If you haven't already made a pledge, we urge you to do so now. Let's keep those phones ringing until 10 p.m. On behalf of the Virgil Broadcasting System and the BBS volunteers, have a great week. I'm Dave Cooper. Thanks for watching. Good night.